Hey everyone, if you guys have been watching my latest videos, you know that I got these Fostex headphones. Number one, because they were really very moddable. There's a big modding community on these headphones. And number two, because they sound good. And I said that I was getting other ear pads for it. So one of the ear pads, I ordered two sets of ear pads. Um, one of them was from a company called Deconi. And they make, um, I guess you could say pretty expensive they're expensive at least compared to the average um ear pads and they're made these they're supposed specifically made for the uh for these fostec headphones other headphones it just you know it has a size thing and there's like when i ordered this there it, it was recommending the sure headphones or the sure yeah uh the sure ear pads from sure sure also makes it their own line of headphones microphones and things like that and um when i clicked the link for those sure ear pads this the link for the deconi also popped up so i looked at the deconi and i was like hmm this is pretty interesting it's a little more pricey because the sure ear pads were only like 19 20 dollars something like that and these were around 35 40 dollars i forget so here's the box it came in. So these are the Deconi memory foam replacement ear pads. It says for the Fostex T50, but because the T50 and the 40 and the T20 right here are all identical as far as, you know, size looks and stuff like that. They're all for this line of uh, headphones. And uh, this is their Elite Velour. I wanted to get some velour ear pads just because uh velour is more is going to be more comfortable and uh at least for me it, it should keep the ears a lot cooler or because of the velour and not like leather or uh pleather or you know artificial leather protein leather the you know your like <laughs> your oils in your skin won't show as as much or, or doesn't you know get onto the headphones as much with the velour the only thing with velour is i think uh with velour headphones it might mess with the bass a little bit it'll give you i think from what i read it might give it less bass so if you're a bass head i probably would not recommend these but let's just open it up i guess the box opens like so let's see And here it is, Deconi Audio Ear Pads. So you got the Deconi Audio Logo and Label Ear Pads. And then the bottom, nothing, just serial number, sides, nothing. Right here on the left, it says uh, Deconi Audio's website and the model number right there. As you can see, Fostex Elite Velour. There's a tape right here. I think I need a new unboxing knife. Okay, once we get the tape cut up right here, I'll just open it up and let's say. At Deconi Audio, we strive to bring you the maximum comfort and value. So you can pause that, read it for yourself. Let's look at the ear pads. And that's it, it's just ear pads. You can see here's the velour. Now these are so much thicker and therefore they're going to be more comfortable than these. Now in my unboxing they said I've said that they didn't look as thick but they didn't seem like they were that uncomfortable. I did do a test um, fit and yeah they they didn't seem that uncomfortable but as I was listening to it yeah it started to get a little uncomfortable and a little hot and it's almost summer now so um these are going to get pretty hot so i'm going to take these off it's pretty easy I'm, i wonder if i can use these for my um bear dynamic custom ones they could might even fit these my uh solid base it looks like they're this all about the same size 
but like I said, velour is, might affect the uh, base quality. So here is the uh, stock Fostex ear tips. And as you can see, it is really thin. I don't know what... I mean, these headphones have been around since uh, 1977. And during that whole time, I don't think Fostex listens to their customers that say that these are not the most comfortable. And here is a foam strip and you can see the driver right there the planar magnetic driver but anyways <clears throat> let's try to put yeah this is like I've seen pancakes I had I've eaten pancakes that are thicker <laughs> than this uh or even cookies those protein cookies Lynn and Larry's protein cookies I believe are thicker than these uh ear pads so Fostex didn't I don't think I don't know if they listen to the customers complaints about these being uncomfortable so what i'm going to do right now on camera for you guys is to uh, install one of them so we can see how easy it is or not easy to install these things they have videos on their website that shows you how to install them i believe what you want to do is uh you want to hold this part right here while you're installing it But now I don't know how it's going to sound, right? Will this affect the bass quality of the uh, headphones? Okay, it looked easy enough, but it's looking a little harder. Just go all around. That's what he was doing. I was watching a video actually on these. Uh, they were putting the. What was it? The blue ones? They have blue. For the like the T60s. Okay. It's not all the way in. I could see it right there, just the top part. Come on. So there we go. I don't think I have it lined up properly though, so I'm going to have to fix that. But that's how it looks. I guess it's fully installed. So it wasn't that hard. You just have to like go inside here and pull on that this leather strip right here or something. But that now that's how it looks compared to the stock. So I'm going to fix this up, make sure it's lined up properly because it's off. This oval part right here should be like way more centered like this. So I'm going to have to fix that. 
Okay, so we got them finally fully installed as you can see and uh, I managed to get them lined up properly. It wasn't as easy as the first time I did it right there on camera, but you just got to play around with these and don't be afraid to like pull and you know pull on the this leather part right here to get them installed and if, if you're not afraid and you can just pull the leather part right there just give it a good pull and so once you give it a good pull and tug right there and when it slides in you could hear it like kind of like slide into place almost like it snaps into place and uh so yeah so here's how they look i already did a test fit and uh man they are so comfortable they are very comfortable uh it's like air really and uh, i didn't feel my ears getting too hot while i was wearing these so that's another good thing but they're so soft and cushy these might be the most comfortable headphones that i have now only because of these ear pads um i did some sound test also when i had them on uh with the uh with a few tracks on uh, my title list and uh this is what i noticed um <clears throat> the velour does affect the bass just slightly at least with these ear pads i don't know how other velour ear pads are going to be but just with these ear pads it does affect the bass just a little bit like when i had the stock ear tips on and i was listening to the same tracks the bass felt more like i could feel the bass more like punch i could feel that bass punch um just a tad more with with these stock pads than with um the deconi but one the that doesn't mean it made the bass disappear it still sounds great and the bass was still present it was still very present only it didn't sound quite as punchy as when i had these on the one thing that i did notice though was that the mids and the uh treble were more pronounced now it brought out the uh the highs and the mids a lot better and uh, a lot more clearer with the, with the uh with the ear pads so if you're looking for a more neutral sound uh it seemed like they got a little louder too if that's even possible but with these deconi pads that's the one thing i noticed um the highs and the mids were more pronounced your treble your your treble and your mids were more pronounced with the with these ear pads versus the stock but for right now not having tried any of the other ones except for you know these and compared to my other headphones with these ear pads these uh fostex are now my most comfortable headset to use and like i said uh, the top part right here didn't really bother me some and i'm ball headed so if it doesn't bother me, I don't know how it would bother you. Um, but then again, I have a different head than other people, you know. So I have a different head compared to yours. So it might be different for you on comfort. So that is pretty much it for this one. <clears throat> um, so yeah, these Deconis, I got them on Amazon for $39.00. $0.99 cents. at the time that I got it it says that there is only one left it's not Amazon Prime eligible and I'm looking at the website again and it says that there's only one left so either they restocked it with another one and now they only have another one left I don't know what's going on Deconi with that thing if you guys are interested in these I'll put a link in the description for Amazon and Deconi Audio's website so these are very comfortable the most comfortable so far ear pads that i've worn and so making the fostex these t20s the most comfortable headphones now with these deconi ear pads it's just like lying in a cloud with these things but like i said it will affect the bass just a little but not too much so that is it for our look at these uh deconi audio replacement memory foam replacement ear pads for the uh trp series of fostec headphones right there so that is it if you guys haven't already please like and subscribe follow me on instagram at the workout geek for all the latest happenings and great workout tips till next time everybody stay safe stay healthy take care and have a great day